Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mark Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for August 26, 2022, could on 1230 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including the potential for two tropical cyclones to be forming in the Atlantic Basin over the next several days. We got a storm alert out there, so what's next? Let's go and jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, we noticed that we have a few things occurring today. First of all, we have a less convectively active tropical wave today and moving into the Caribbean. This is the area of disturbance right now. It's not really looking like much, but will become or will try to become something as it moves into the northwestern Caribbean over the next several days. And then out here in the Atlantic main development region, we have a complex of systems. We have a system here and a system here. Now, this particular system is not yet highlighted as of 1230 by NHC, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does get a little bit of a highlight because this is actually could be considered close to tropical, uh, close to a tropical cyclone already. And then we have this system out here. And if we actually take a look here at the five day tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center, we can see that we have two systems again right here in the Caribbean and this other system down here south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Both of these at least have a low probability of developing, although this uh, system out here in the East Atlantic probably has the greatest potential for development. But look here at the visible satellite imagery real quickly on the Caribbean system. Again, there's not much occurring today. However, we do notice that there is at least a little bit of spin still remaining. We can kind of see some of these uh, flows in here kind of, you know, curling around, indicating that there is still at least a little bit of mid-level spin in the atmosphere here. And this will likely continue towards the northwest over the next few days, again, the center of that system there, kind of going off towards the west and northwest and, and kind of getting into an environment where conditions do become at least a little bit more favorable for tropical cyclone formation. And out here in the east tropical Atlantic, again, we can kind of see these two systems today. Now, this is going to be going on some pretty robust interaction over the next several days. These two systems will be interacting with one another and could actually kind of combine into a system. This is very reminiscent of how Western uh, Western Pacific systems actually form this big monsoon trough. So any uh, development could be slow to occur, but this system actually over here does have at least a little bit more spin in the atmosphere today and uh, does actually show signs of trying to close off, but it is still located in the monsoon trough. So it's very hard to actually get a system to close off before it leaves that monsoon trough. So we'll have to see just kind of how things progress with time there. Now looking at the GFS forecast, this is the 060 run here of Alpha 4 ADM this morning. This is the 150 millibar vorticity or the spin in the atmosphere at about 5,000 feet off the ground. We noticed that today, again, here's the system out here in the East Atlantic. It's a very discombobulated mess here of systems that's trying to interact and organize within this overall monsoon trough, which is kind of there indicated by the arrow. And then here's this Caribbean system as well. Just a little bit of energy associated with that. Now on the GFS forecast, it still takes several days for a system to actually combine. And here by about Wednesday morning, we could be dealing with a system to watch here in the Caribbean. And we could also be dealing with a system out here in the central tropical Atlantic. We notice that the Caribbean system is not necessarily organized, but there is at least a little bit of flare up there in the vorticity field, which does uh, kind of really indicate to me that there is at least some energy down there that is trying to get going. A lot of convection now, whether this is just spurious vorticity off of, you know, some of these convective feedback problems that generate the spurious vorticity that go on to develop into this, you know, mega hurricane, basically, whether that's, you know, what is occurring here on the GFS or whether this is actually what is or what could be happening remains to be seen. This is the five day period. So anything beyond five days should be taken with a grain of salt here. But given that we're going to go ahead and proceed here. So we notice that at least on the GFS forecast, we actually do have two systems trying to form and, and two systems do form here by Friday going into Saturday. So by the weekend, we could be dealing with one, two, potentially a third system in the subtropics and maybe a fourth system trying to develop back here. So again, whether this is spurious vorticity or whether this is actually what is going to happen remains a big question. The main indicator to me is that the European solution, which we can look at now, 
has kind of a different outcome. If we actually look here at the five day period, we notice by Wednesday, we don't really see much of an overall system out in the Caribbean, but we do notice a system here. Now, this system coming off of Africa at the day five period, A, it's too far north, in my opinion, that this is probably the European wave bias. And with it being just way too far north, I'm just not really um, so sure that we're actually going to see much in the way of development with that. So we'll kind of monitor that, but if anything, we'll probably be a little bit further south and not as strong initially, but we can kind of see our players that are up on the board. And then eventually here by Friday, we actually do have some systems developing. Curiously enough, we actually do have the same piece of energy that the GFS is picking up on. And then we have this system approaching the Northern Windward Islands um, by this time on Friday. So... This is going to be quite interesting to see if this actually plays out. One of the things here, if we actually look at the upper level wind environment on the European here, the European shows that there's actually a semi-favorable environment for this tropical wave that we'll be watching over the next several days to kind of go on and develop into a system. We notice that there's not really this massive uh, upper tropical atmospheric trough here that's digging in. And in fact, we got it, the outflow from this particular storm trying to erode what's left of that shear. And so eventually we do get a storm that actually manages to develop a pretty healthy outflow pocket and is able to go on to strengthen. But land interaction here, at least on this particular run of the Euro, is basically this, this nemesis here. Now, again, whether or not this actually does happen, it kind of remains to be seen. This isn't a you know forecast necessarily as this is just one run of the, the European but what is interesting here is that on the European ensembles, we actually do have quite a good uh, amount of concentrated members here indicating that there is definitely um, the potential for a storm to be in this area. And in fact, more than just a potential, I think this is actually a pretty fair shot. So I would not be surprised to see the development chances actually raised even higher here uh, over the next few days. And then this system over here surprisingly does have a fair good amount of model support as well. Again, not really so sure it's going to be that far north because systems further north have a very tough time actually developing into a tropical system because of the dry air and cooler waters. So we'll see if that's you know going to happen. But again, just looking at the upper level wind environment at this time, very favorable for both of these systems to go on to try to develop into tropical cyclones here. So my main takeaway is that we don't really see a lot with this Caribbean system and only the GFS ensembles, which you can look at now, only the GFS ensembles are actually pointing towards any sort of development in that time frame. We notice that there's actually some members here by Friday trying to pick out a potential storm location somewhere in the Gulf or the Northwestern Caribbean. But this is only the GFS, and given the fact that it's only the GFS and there's not really a whole lot of model support behind it, I'm not really so yet inclined to issue any type of storm alert or, or go for anything more than just a low probability of development down there in the Northwestern Caribbean but I definitely do think that there is the potential for a storm to form somewhere in the central or western part of the Atlantic main development region sometime this week or a weekend. And this could be tracking somewhat close to the Lesser Antilles in the northern part of the Windward Islands. So with that being said, there is at least some level of concern that we could be dealing with land impacts sometime this weekend or early next week. But again, timing, location, strength is all yet to be determined and it is way too soon to be speculating but just to kind of you know erase some bells here to say yeah there is something to watch out there as we had expect for you know august 26th so again just something to keep in mind but again nothing to worry about as of right now all right so that being said i do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening of course i am michael romali and i'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow